Cherry Blossom family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here or if you're coming from my friend Katie's channel from Over the Mooney, hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and today is another installment of Crafted. Now, if you haven't been along on this crafted journey with Katie and I, I'm going to link down in the description box our playlist of all of the crafted challenges that we've done. Basically, it's a Disney DIY challenge that we challenge one another, kind of like the show Chopped, where you get a secret ingredient or you get something that challenges you to craft or make something out of that specific ingredient. Now, since COVID has kind of been going on for several months, it's changed a little bit of how we've been doing Crafted, but today is our one year anniversary for Crafted! Yay! Katie, thank you so much for going on this super fun journey with me for so long. I have loved and looked forward to doing this series every single time that we've done it, so Thank you for uh, being my partner in crime. And if you guys haven't checked out Katie from Over the Moonies channel, she is absolutely amazing. She loves all things Disney, Harry Potter, Funko. Uh, she's also on the Fairy Godrunners team with us, uh, which is the race team for uh, Run Disney that's put on by Bee by Bippity, which is Disney inspired leggings. And yeah, she's just an all around amazing gal. Be sure to go check out her channel and subscribe to her channel. She puts out great, uh, great content. So since it's our one year anniversary, we're doing things a little bit differently. So we have asked you guys to choose our crafts for us. So <laughs> I got, I think it was about 55 entries of what you guys wanted us to create. And by the way, the theme today is Pocahontas's 25th anniversary. So happy birthday, Pocahontas. You guys will have to let me know down below uh, what you love so much about that movie. That movie is my childhood. Uh, there's just about um, nothing in that film that I don't absolutely, absolutely love. It's such a great film. It's one of my most favorites. It makes me incredibly nostalgic and I'm so excited to get crafting with you today. We're making two crafts of what you have submitted to us. So let's go ahead and get crafted. that was submitted to us was a Disney pocket tee. And more specifically, someone said an embroidered or needle crafted pocket tee. Now, for those of you that know me pretty well know, I am horrendous at needle crafts, crocheting, and anything with yarn. So I'm gonna do an adaptation of that that I think will be very similar that I think you guys are going to love because it's really, really easy to do. It's actually craft I have done on my channel before, long ago uh, for the Incredibles 2 release. So I'm gonna link it down below. But it's basically taking a shirt that's plain and I got this oversized um, t-shirt from Old Navy. These were $6 at their store, which was incredible. I got a burgundy one, and then I also got this really cool like stripedy one. I thought it was kind of fun. So I'm gonna be making two of those pocket tees, one for Flit and one for Miko. Now I will say Miko and Flit were the number one most requested character. You may ask like, well, how are we gonna make the pocket tee? I do not have any Miko and Flit fabric, so we are going to make it today, which is really fun. So all you really need is a, a computer, an inkjet printer, and these amazing inkjet printing cotton sheets. Now I'm gonna take these out and show you what they look like. One side is a piece of paper, the other side is just straight cotton. I don't know if you can see the fibers within that cotton. You run it through your inkjet printer and then it creates fabric for you. You then peel off the backing to it 
and you are ready to sew with it, you're ready to use um, applic an applique technique, which is what we're gonna be doing today. And yeah, so let's go ahead and pick our images. I'm just going to sit in front of my computer here and we are gonna make some decisions. After a Google image search, I found the perfect images, one of Miko and Flit where they're eating berries, and then the next image that I decided upon was John Smith and Pocahontas during the Colors of the Wind scene. I wanted to do one character and one scene from a song in the film. So that's what I decided upon, and I print th printed them in a six inch by six inch image because that is what, what the requirement was for the pocket size. So here are the sheets all printed out and then I just grabbed a piece of cardstock and I am going to start creating a template. I couldn't find a printable template so I'm just making my own. I found out that if you make a 5 inch by 5 inch square and then find the center of the square and draw a 1 inch line below your pocket and then connect the edges with an angle that is the perfect size for a pocket. So it's 5 inches by 5 inches by 1 inch at the bottom. Something to keep in mind about the pocket template that we made is that it is pretty large and that's because it includes the seams that are required. So then I just ended up tracing this onto my images and cutting it out with fabric scissors. Now you're gonna want to press the seams downwards, which is just a one inch on the top and then one quarter inch around the rest of your pocket. That one inch press, you'll want to go ahead and sew right along the very top. So now it's time to place the pocket on the t-shirt. I just held the shirt up to my body and just kind of put my finger where I thought it was going to be and then put a little pin and then took the shirt off just because it was a little bit easier to figure that out rather than try to find a similar shirt that had a pocket because I, I don't think I own one. And then all you're gonna wanna do is just take your pins and start pinning just the very corners because you don't want your fabric to kind of bunch up around your pocket. And then you're just gonna stitch in like a U shape and leave the top open so it's an actual functional pocket. And that's it, you can hand sew or use a sewing machine. So here is the finished pocket with Pocahontas and John Smith. I thought it turned out really cute. And then here is the Miko and Flit one. I love the colors on this one. I thought the colors were really, really fun. I just wish that this t-shirt was in a V-neck, but other than that, love the design of it. The second craft that we are going to do is actually some hair barrettes. Someone put hair accessories as something that they would like to see. And so since I was at Old Navy, I found these hair clips that I thought were really nice. Like they reminded me of like Pocahontas colors. You've got like a tortoise shell and then like a creamy like mauvey color with sparkles in it and then a golden color with sparkles in it. And these are just alligator hair clips. So they just have like this simple alligator clip backing on them. And I thought it would be really fun to work with some shrinky dinks today. So shrinky dinks, if you don't know what they are, I grew up with them. Uh, it's basically a piece of plastic that you color on and you make an image, you throw it into the oven and it shrinks it down to a super tiny size. And then I'm just going to adhere them simply onto these hair clips. So. Let's do this. I followed the instructions exactly on the Shrinky Dinks package, which was basically just use any type of marker. So it kind of worked out. <laughs> and I have this amazing coloring book that is from my childhood. And you'll see like some terrible coloring uh, that I did as a child in there. But I thought this was fun to kind of find a picture of Miko that we could create into a barrette. So I just taped the Shrinky Dink clear sheet onto the top of Miko and then I just started coloring and having fun. Um, one thing that I would suggest is not outlining it first just because it does kind of run, make the colors run together.
So here is the finished image of Miko. I thought he turned out really cute. I'm gonna be cutting him out and something to note is you don't wanna cut out like the things that protrude out from him very closely um, because he will curl up in the oven and you don't want him to curl into himself and get ruined. So here's what the finished product looks like. I added green into his eyes just because it looked kind of funny having clear eyes. And so now it's time to bake. We are now at my oven. It's set at 325, but make sure you're following your shrink eating instructions because some of them have different temperature requirements. Um, excuse the dirty oven, but I'm placing him in and it said anywhere from like one to three minutes. I think he took like maybe two minutes in total or maybe three minutes. Um, but here's what it looks like baking. Now it's time to take him out and let him cool. And I will just set him over on the counter until it's time. And I got some clothespins and some tacky glue. Here is what he looks like. He is so much smaller. He was originally like the size of both of my hands put together. So he definitely shrank a bit. And I'm just using tacky glue just because I didn't want to use hot glue and possibly melt him. And I'm just placing a little bit of tacky glue on there and then securing him with a clothespin and letting him sit overnight to dry. Here is my Miko Brett. I think it turned out really well, actually. It's definitely a fun and super easy craft to make, and you can totally make it for characters that don't have a lot of merchandise or representation, and it's a fun alternative to ears. You'll have to let me know down below what character you would like to make a Brett for. This is definitely something that I will be doing again. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this month's Crafted. I hope you enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know down below, like always, what your favorite craft was from this video and also what you would make or if you have any critiques or maybe what you would have done differently because I always love to hear that information from you guys. But if you haven't already, go check out Katie's video. Her link is in the description down below. It was so much fun hanging out with you. Thank you so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure if you want any requests for the next Crafted, leave them down below. We always love getting suggestions. I love you guys so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. TTFN, bye.